As ambassador of the state of Israel, Tisha B'Av, the 9th of Av, the memorial day of the destruction of Jerusalem, this year is different from previous years. This time I'm in Rome at Titus Gate, built in honor of that victory over Jerusalem, over the Jewish people in the year 70. Across from us stands the Colosseum, constructed from the spoils of that war. And on the other side, the Curia, the ancient Roman Senate building, incredible symbolism. The triumphal procession made its way through the main streets of Rome. Then it came here to the Via Sacra, the holy path to the temple of Jupiter, where sacrifice was performed and public celebrations took place. Joseph ben Matityahu, Josephus Flavius, the commander of the Galilee during the Great Revolt, who was captured and joined Titus, documented the war in his book, History of the Jewish War Against the Romans. He was an eyewitness to that historical parade. I will read an excerpt from his book. On the appointed day, none of the vast multitude of the inhabitants of the city remained at his house. Everyone went out and grabbed a piece of land that they could stand on. The people who led the loot procession were dressed in spatial clothes. Even the many prisoners did not lack decorations, and the variety of colors of their clothes obscured the appearance of their deformed bodies. Many pictures reenacted the war. A prosperous land becomes a wasteland. People on the run, others taken captive, torches of fire thrown on the temples, a land entirely consumed by fire, our land. All of these were the fate of the Jews. At dawn, Vespasian and Titus set out for Octavius' walk, where the stage stood and from where the procession began. The loot of the war was carried in great abundance, but the loot taken in the Temple of Jerusalem made the greatest impact of them all. That is, the golden table of the weight of many stones, the menorah, also, that was made of gold. And the last of all the spoils was carried the book of flow of the Jews. That is the Torah, apparently preserved in the temple library in Jerusalem. End of quote from Josephus. By the way, the place from which the procession of humiliation of the captives of Jerusalem began Octavius' walk was interestingly chosen about 1,500 years later as the place of the Jewish ghetto in Rome. Again, fascinating symbolism. If we could ask one of the tormented captives of Judea, what is your dream? The answer would undoubtedly be to return home to Zion and rebuild the ruins of Jerusalem and the land. He would also repeat the oath of the first prisoners of Zion from the first destruction of the temple who had been expelled to Babylon. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth if I prefer Jerusalem above my chief joy. Since then, we have repeated the oath over and over again. We promised ourselves that if we do not return, then our children or their descendants would do. If not today, then tomorrow or the day after. And if still not then, 
then in a thousand or two thousand years, but eventually we will return home because there is hope for our future. Today I came as the ambassador of Israel to tell the captives of Judea whose spirits are hovering here and the symbols of their lost freedom, our freedom, are engraved here on the stone. We have kept the promise. We have kept the promise. Israel lives. Am Yisrael Chai.